garbage and scrap. An increasing problem not only for our Earth, but also to a growing extent in space. Over 700,000 objects larger than one centimeter in size now threaten the utilization of near-Earth space for socially vital purposes, such as telecommunications, navigation, or scientific Earth observation. The risk situation of the infrastructure in near-Earth space is problematic. The possibility of destructive collisions has now reached a critical value. The active removal of space debris would be an extremely difficult and hardly affordable task. Close monitoring of the potential threats is the only helpful alternative for the foreseeable future. The aerospace management of the German Aerospace Center turned to the specialists at the Fraunhofer Institute, the FHR, to solve this demanding task. The answer to this task is GSTRA, a new and highly complex space surveillance instrument. The radar system was designed and implemented by Fraunhofer FHR in Germany. It consists of a transmitter unit and a receiver unit each of which is equipped with 256 electronically controlled antennas. Unlike stationary systems, GSTRA is a container-based mobile system. In this way, space objects can be monitored with flexible and innovative surveillance and orbit tracking modes. Prior to the commissioning of GSTRA at its final location in Koblenz in mid-2019, the research team at Fraunhofer FHR had to contend with a number of challenges. Challenges which opened up new performance dimensions, not only for the researchers, but also for the developers of the necessary components. The innovative and highly complex radar system is based on the latest phased array technology and can therefore adapt to changing surveillance conditions with a high degree of flexibility. The transmit and receive systems each comprised 256 active individual antennas, which are mounted in a circular arrangement on an antenna plate that is 3 meters in diameter. The antennas can be combined to form an antenna network, the so-called phased array. The pulsed signals, which are sent into space by the transmit system, form a kind of predefined search area. In this way, near-Earth space is under continuous surveillance. Objects are detected and tracked with special track beams. Detected debris particles are then digitally registered by the receive system and subsequently processed with a high-performance computer to create the orbital data catalog. One essential step in this respect is the development of the required high-performance components. Highly complex circuit boards, for example, must be designed, newly developed, and thoroughly tested. The transmit and receive subsystems are also arranged in subgroups, known as planks, so as to simplify system maintenance. And, last but not least, the radiation patterns of the individual antenna elements have to be measured to detect electromagnetic interference, so as to prevent associated deviations or distortions of the results. The next task involved integrating the subsystems into the 18 by 4 by 4 cubic meter shelter with its 4.5 meter high protective radome so that work on the components inside the shelter could get underway. In a first step, calculations were made pertaining to the mechanical stabilization of the antenna system on the scissor lift. Additionally, the high electrical power storage had to be developed using complex electronics. The integrated energy chain was then optimized to supply the antenna front end with the necessary water tube, heavy-duty cable, compressed air, high frequency and control line connections. GSTRA is the first step to 
towards the realization of a comprehensive radar surveillance system. Once commissioned for the German Space Situational Awareness Center, GSTRA will supply data that was previously not available. The next step involves distributing the system to further locations to make the near-Earth orbit a safer place.